all right y'all welcome back welcome back today you're rolling with the fam all right so you know fall time is here when the apples come out so today we're going to make a nice apple crisp dessert with some ice cream y'all it's going to be good so today we have about six apples some small some big this is just what we had left in the refrigerator honestly if i had like a couple more that would be perfect but we're going to use what we got okay so first we're going to start out by cutting these apples and peeling them that's all you have to do to start so let me show you how to cut the apple once you go ahead and peel it okay so i'm just going to cut it in half okay now you don't want the little seeds inside i know a lot of people chop their apples and then you're okay with eating the seeds or the, the residue from the seeds but i don't like that so i'm going to cut it in half all right and then we're going to take that half and if you notice it's kind of like already sectioned for you so one two three you can kind of like this go hi y'all okay so now once you cut your apple this little piece right here you're going to take that out so that way you won't be eating on that in the apple dish all you want is just a nice apple itself a lot of people don't mind that piece but I don't like it, y'all. It's just like the salmon and rice or the, you know, the textures eating on the bones. I like that part. Yeah, everybody's different. And then I'm just taking off the end of that piece. While you are cutting your apples, you want to take a piece of lemon and you're going to drizzle some lemon juice. We're going to start out any dessert with some butter, okay? You cannot go wrong with the butter. I'm going to do about a half a stick. Even though I could do a whole stick, y'all already know. Go big or go home, right? Alright, so that butter is melted enough. Let's go ahead and add in our apples. You see when I cut them down, it really didn't make pretty much of nothing, right? So, hopefully it doesn't look like a little bit of nothing once it comes out the oven. We're gonna go ahead and bathe and y'all see how the apples are still nice and bright they're not brown that's because of that lemon juice and again the lemon juice is going to give your apples some flavor and help cut down with the sweetness that we're going to add to this all right so let's talk about the seasonings really fast there's so many different ways and options you can season up your apples let me show y'all the trick so here you have some pumpkin spice which pretty much has, which is pretty much all of these seasonings. Clove, nutmeg, ground cinnamon, and ginger. Ground cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and cloves. So if you want to go in with all of those seasonings, you can. Or if you just want to take the one bottle, which is what I'm about to do, you can do that too. Alright, now I want to make sure that I have... A lot of cinnamon so I'm going to add a little bit more of that just by itself just to do a little bit of extra okay all right so to that I'm going to add some sugar this is some dark brown sugar I know I love the dark brown sugar nothing wrong with the light I just feel like the the dark gives it a lot more flavor so that's the brown sugar probably added about one third cup of that one fourth cup of that if you want to add some white sugar as well you can to help balance your apples out now something that i'm going to add that i normally don't but it's so bomb y'all it's so good i'm going to do a little bit of cheat right here okay so this is some caramel dip you know when they came home after school if they wanted to have a snack you could just dip the apples in here and this is already soft so what we're gonna do is so what we're gonna do is take some of this you see how soft it is and this is pretty much where the fruit is in the store this is where i got this from so i'm just gonna take two tablespoons of that oh, forget it <laughs> i just licked it off the spoon look why not waste it right <laughs> okay so choose that you want to add some salt to help balance these flavors out. So what we're going to do is go ahead and let these apples cook down. 
I let them cut down. Make sure all the seasonings is nice and incorporated. And then we're gonna go ahead and thicken this up some. Okay, so this spread is out in the pan. Make sure everything is nice and even. And then we're gonna let it cook. Okay. So while we wait on the apples to get done, let's go ahead and start making our slurry for our apples to get the sauce thick because we don't have that much time left. It's not gonna take that long. All right, so now you're gonna take your cornstarch. I got a teaspoon right here because we're gonna eat it with some ice cream so you don't want it to be too thin and you know running. Put it in your cup and then we're gonna add some water to this. So as soon as the apples are done, then I'm going to go ahead and add this slurry in there. And I added just enough water just to, um, you know, so you can stir it. Yeah. If y'all make this before, give a thumbs up on this video. Okay. So that's what you need right there. And we need good no. Okay. So you'll know when your apples is tender because you, they'll be soft and they'll be um, not so like solid color. You can pretty much start to see through them. They start to get that, get that translucent look to them. And then if this was to continue to cook in here, this is gonna get nice and sticky and be delicious. Just like how we make our candy curries that y'all love on our channel. If y'all haven't seen those, go ahead and check those out. All right, y'all, so the apples is done enough. You can take your spoon and you pretty much can cut through them. So they're good. Oh my God. Go ahead and add. Go ahead and add. Let's mix it up one more time. Make sure we got all of the cornstarch out. And this is going to help thicken the sauce up. That way, once we take it out the oven, after it cooks, it won't just be a bunch of like brown sugar sauce. So we can turn our heat up a little bit. As soon as this comes to a boil, we can go ahead and take this out to a bubble. We can go ahead and take this out. And you can tell it's, you know, starting to get thick. If you do like that, that lets you know that your cornstarch is working. I mean, you can kind of see it was getting thick before we even added this, but now you can see it's more thicker. It's thicker now. So we're going to go ahead and add all of our apple filling right in the bowl. Yeah, this is why I use this paint right here because it's not too big, but it wasn't too small. It's like just enough. So it's enough for everybody to have some, okay? How about that? Lately, I've been finding all of these goodies in the grocery store. Y'all know how it is just to be walking around and seeing something that you like. I came across this apple crisp mix right here. All you need to do is just use this with some butter. Here's the butter right here. I just had it sitting on the stove so it can melt up a little bit. You can easily make this yourself too. You just need some flour, your um, brown sugar. Actually, I don't even really think we need to use all of this. I still got some in here. I didn't add it all in it. And then just go ahead and add this butter. This is five teaspoons of butter. And then with your fork, you're going to go ahead and just mash it down. That butter in the oven on top of the apples is going to crisp up and give it a nice little crunch. This is just how we made like our French toast, that overnight French toast, where we put the butter and the brown sugar and made it like this. Oh, it was so good. I'm just thinking about it now. Y'all remember when we did that for our vlogmas last year? When we made our French toast casserole and we did something similar to this. If y'all haven't seen that video, go ahead and check that out as well. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just continue to mix this up good until everything is incorporated with this butter. Okay, y'all. So that looks good. As you can see, the butter is nicely incorporated in here. So now what we want to do is just go ahead and just put it over top of our apples in no particular order. We're just going to make sure everything is nice and even and coated. 
that's pretty much what we're trying to do and this is probably too much this is way too much so what I'll do is I'll just save some of this for something else just put this in the refrigerator yeah I definitely don't have enough apples for all of this and I'm gonna leave some of the apples poking through so that way we can see what it is but yeah this is still a lot left over I knew I should probably put too much in there. All right, so this is what we're looking like right there, you guys. Now, it does say put it on 375 for about 20 to 30 minutes um, until the topping is golden brown. And we'll come back with the ice cream on top, y'all, okay? All right, y'all. So, we took the apple crisp out the oven. It's been sitting here for about... 10 minutes so far we're gonna let it cool down and then i'm gonna show you how we want to plate it up and put the ice cream on top but when i tell you them apples taste so good with that caramel in it y'all it's so good i cannot wait but <clears throat> this is the dinner that we're going to eat right along with that some cheesy hash brown potatoes some hamburger steaks and some green beans that was done in the instant pot all right so stay tuned we're going to eat it with some extra creamy vanilla ice cream i'm gonna go ahead and fix porters because she already in here asking so this is what it looks like straight out the pan all right and then we're gonna top it with some ice cream all right so i'm gonna go ahead and give this a porter i'm gonna fix mine and then the family gonna come in here Mommy, and eat the camera? rest all right y'all so until next time we are done the dinner bye y'all